Hi everyone, this is my overview and unboxing of the Peak Design uh, camera sling strap. I've actually bought this for my upcoming trip to Japan. Um, just wanted something that will sling um, rather than just a camera strap over the over the neck. Um, so I'll unbox this um, now, let you know what's all inside. So this is a Peak Design slide light. Um, yeah, I've got the Ash version of it as well. So this is what it looks like. Uh, when you uh, open it up so it's quite nice actually it's a little bit it's actually a little bit magnetic or something in there so um, that's quite nice as well so the packaging is quite good a um, little bit about the camera uh, strap down on the left hand side here um, so like I said the sling style is what I will be um, aiming to use this for when I'm in Japan so what I'll do is unbox this here um, and then a month later I'm in Japan and then I'll put this together and we'll um, I'll, I'll give you my thoughts on what this was like uh, while using it in Japan uh, from that. So um, that's the front um, on the back there. Uh, like I said, there's a few different styles um, that you can have. Um, it's got the quick release um, uh, nuggets or whatever they are here. Um, I won't be using it like that. It's the sling is what I'm looking for um, on there. So that's what it all looks like. All right, so how do I get into this? Uh, all right, looks like it's down here. Let's open this up. Let's this way. This over here. Alrighty, so this is what we're doing here. Alright, some more information on the back here as well. Um, how you use it. Anchor attachments, uh, anchor instructions. Um, yep. Alright, open this up. Alright, a little pouch here, the looks of it. Let me put this over to the side. Um, so I've got this little pouch. What have we got in this pouch? There's something else in here now. Alright, so what have we got here? What does this say? Online resources card. Yep, don't need that. Looks like it's an Allen key. Yeah, I don't know what that would be for. Probably for putting on the, on the bottom of your camera. Um, and these are the anchors. So it looks like this is the anchor that goes on the bottom. Um, on the camera and that secures that one there's the anchor there um, and there's an anchor as well uh, for this one so that's the anchor now let's have a look at this strap yeah how do i get this under a uh, couple of ties undo this tie over here so this is the strap uh, yeah. so like I mentioned I got the um, the light version not the the full version so the strap looks quite good actually it's very well made it's like um like a seat belt basically that's the material that you use it's very sturdy um, it's got some grips along here that would be for where your shoulders are so it's, it's um yeah, that's quite good as well. I think this Peak Design slide is, is obviously a little bit wider. It's got some more padding um, over across the shoulder area here, but this is this is okay. I just want something quite nice, night, nice and light. I'll be using my Nikon Z6 um, with this, so it's not going to have to carry a huge amount of weight. And so I just wanted the slide light. Uh, so these are the two anchor points here. Now we see this in, and they click quite nicely. Let me see if we hear the other one out. I click actually quite well in there, so I'll just hear and listen to this. Oh, hang on a second. So they uh, slide quite nice. So overall, quite nice material in there. So good that you get your two anchor points. Looks like you get a, a spare anchor as well. So that's great. Um, and then you get your anchor for the base of the camera where you normally put your secure, your tripod and stuff like that. I won't be using this because um, I'll be having my L bracket on here to do my landscape photography as well as a bit of street photography and 
general family snaps as I'm in Japan as well. So I won't be using this, but for those of you who want to anchor it on the bottom, that's nice um, that that's there. And it's actually quite a nice metal material as well. So um, that's quite good. Um, so overall, um, happy with the quality on there. Little pouch there, don't know if I really use that for anything, but the pouch is there overall. Um, yeah, it looks quite good actually. Um, so what I'll do is, like I mentioned, I will um, take this over to Japan. Uh, I'll be using this, um, I'm over there for about nine or 10 days, so, and I'll be on the road a lot, and traveling a lot, you know, I'll be seeing the sites of um, Tokyo and Kyoto. Um, so this will come in very much handy, so I'll let you know how it performs and how it uh, out in the field. Uh, but yeah, pretty good. So like I mentioned before, my primary use uh, and the reason why I got this was to be used as a sling um, across one shoulder and over to the side. Look, and that's just because um, that's the way I, I prefer to travel um, when I'm out and about. Uh, I think it's just, it's easy. I could sling it just a little bit behind my, my back as well if I need to. Um, and it just gives you a nice uh, access without it sort of hanging over the front of you. Um, and potentially, um, you know, it's probably not good rate for your posture that way. So I'm, I'm primarily going to use it as a sling. Um, and this is how it looks um, when I put it on. Well, I'm back from Japan. So how did the Peak Design slide like perform? Um, quite well. A um, couple of things that I was looking out for was what's the difference in the width of the strap versus the Peak Design slide? And I was out and about every day for nine days, all day, carrying my camera around with me. You know, the strap was never too thin. I never got any sore shoulders from having a thin strap or the difference in the padding between the slide. The slide's got a little bit more padding than the slide light, never an issue. Um, the buckles around how you can adjust the straps up and down to shorten and lengthen it. Well, for me, once I found the extra length that I liked in the strap, I just kept it there the whole time. So um, it was great for me to have it off to the side rather than the front. Um, probably the only thing I did notice is because I like to keep uh, the camera down on my hip uh, that I got a little bit of a sore hip um, from the camera just bumping up against uh, my hip bone for nine or ten days but other than that that's just me because I like the extra length on the strap so overall performed really really well um, it will stay on my camera um, pretty well all the time now um, the quick release well yeah look I think the quick release will come in more and handy for me when I'm out and about with my landscape photography now. When I was in Japan, it was more just run and gun, um, just keep moving and taking images. So I didn't have a lot of opportunity to do, you know, on the tripod landscape photography. Um, and the, the little bits of time that I did, I just kept the strap on because I literally had a minute or two before I was moving on to the next area. So to wrap things up, look, the slide light is a great camera strap. Um, it is quite expensive for a camera strap, but you can see with the quality that they've put in to the strap to see um, how it performs. So um, it is a great strap um, and I will be using it with my camera moving forward. Okay, that's everything from me. I'll hope to see you on my next video soon. See ya.